Hello and good Tuesday, September 16th, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. You know what the world needs? A traffic cop in space. As more and more satellites orbit overhead, spacecraft are becoming increasingly vulnerable to collisions, risking lives of crew members and causing serious damage to multi-million dollar space vehicles. And space junk, no matter how small, can cause big headaches. Not including the Moon, there are around 900 active satellites in Earth's orbit to date, and with 10,000 pieces of junk longer than 10 centimeters each, traveling at around 22,000 kilometers per hour, one small accident can cause catastrophic damage. And it's not just spacecraft that are in harm's way. Last year, an Airbus A340 jetliner with 270 people on board narrowly missed a shower of flaming supersonic satellite debris west of Auckland, New Zealand. Navigating this hypersonic junk is a full-time job that requires constant monitoring. Somebody call the cops. A billion miles away, another robot has been busy keeping it real, as the Pluto Pioneer spacecraft New Horizons has just received a successful brain transplant. The spacecraft was recently upgraded to a new command and data handling system, which thankfully means it can Twitter faster. As such, the craft was pleased to report that the commute to Pluto was a real hassle, but the upgrade was easy breezy. I sent snail mail to Pluto, but I never heard back. Stop. I support Pluto as a planet. If birds and snails can't get the message there, perhaps water bears can. These sea monkeys or water bears are tardigrades and have been exposed to space without suits. Able to resist extreme temperatures as well as a vast array of radiation due to an ability to enter a dormant, near-dead-like state, the little astronauts were later able to reproduce just fine. Whatever just fine means. Back on Earth, NASA is exploring the possibility of using nuclear fission to power the much-talked-about lunar station. As opposed to a typical Earth reactor, on the Moon the reactor would be much more compact, about the size of an office trash can, just enough to power a small block of homes which would be more than adequate for starters. And it will be easier to serve because the International Space Station nearby just got their hookup hooked up. With a fresh new Wi-Fi system in place and perhaps a little boost, guests on the Moon might be able to snag some free signal action. Unlikely to work on the dark side. The ESA is going to the ISS and they're giving you a chance to name the mission. Set to launch in 2009, astronaut Frank de Winner of Belgium will set sail for a six-month mission and the agency is open to suggestions. Think of the power. Think of the fame. Naming a mission is serious business. Uh... Pluto.